What's up guys, Scott Martin here. Scott Martin Challenge standing on the shores of beautiful Table Rock Lake here at Big Cedar Lodge in Branson, Missouri. What an unbelievable place this really is. And speaking of unbelievable, we have an awesome challenge today. I'm talking one that I might not soon forget. We're fishing against the Hibden boys. Dion Hibden and his son Peyton Hibden, these guys are no slouches. These guys are the Ozark Kings. I had to bring in a ringer. I had to bring in a special guest, longtime friend, traveling roommate on the FLW Tour, Tom Reddington. This guy knows how to catch them deep. And we're gonna need to catch them. Stay tuned, this show's gonna be awesome. 14 pounds, five ounces. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah! Woo! Game time! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Look at that fish! Unbelievable! Tom. We're gonna have a work cut out for us, dude. I mean, we're going against the Hibdens, the Lake of the Ozark, Ozark Mountain. I mean, this is the mega team right here, dude. Classic <laughs> winner, cup winner on home water. Good luck. I should have picked a better lake to do this on. <laughs> Scott and Tom think they're gonna come to the Ozarks and beat us? Come on. You should have thought this one out a little bit better. I'm afraid. <laughs> I mean, just saying, you know. <laughs> you know, fishing against Dion and Payton, we might have bit off a little bit more than we can chew. We're gonna do a simple challenge today. We're gonna be back here this afternoon, five fish limit. That's just the way it's gonna go. It's gonna go down, five fish limit. Best man wins. We're staying here at Big Cedar Lodge. I mean, how beautiful is this place right here? We had a great dinner last night, and uh, I I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. I'm a little nervous. All right, Peyton, let's get it going. Good Dion. Luck. You, you should be nervous. Oh my God. It's the fall time of the year. These fish are gonna be biting. There's gonna be lots of different ways to catch them, but the facts are, we're going against the Hibdens. These guys are the king of the Ozarks. Yeah, this is a road game. We gotta bring our best game today or we're gonna get crushed. Me and my son in a challenge against Scott and Tom. They're going down. You reckon Scotty knows what he's in for today? I doubt it, very <laughs> seriously. Yeah, it's a little bit different from Okeechobee, you know. Uh, see about 20 foot deep. Those big spotted bass gonna see our top water from about 20 foot deep. <laughs> yeah, to be able to fish against Peyton and Dion, that's pretty cool. You know, Peyton's kind of following in his dad's footsteps and Dion followed in his dad's footsteps. And maybe one day my kids will follow in my footsteps and we'll kind of a neat little deal right here. It's a clash of some uh, royalty, bass fishing, the Martins and the Hibdens. I mean, it's two of the biggest families for sure, it's the dynasties. We are gonna get unleashed, Scott and Tom's worst nightmare right here. For when we get a bite. After we caught a few fish yesterday, I told Peyton, I says, we really need to rig up a gang rig. These challenges are all about decisions. Our first choice is to run in this little marina and see if we can find these schooling fish. We put the trolling motor down, we see some bait flicking, it's game on. He hit it. That one. Got him. Oh, there we go. That's a panoptics fish, dude. I saw him <laughs> so over there. The I saw him. I said, there they are right there. I spent a lot of time up here in the last few falls. There's a ton of ways to catch him, anyway from on top all the way down to the bottom, jigs, and then crankbaits, obviously in the fall, big player. I was like, where are they? Where are they? Yeah, there was nothing in here. And then you, you panned over there. Nice. Sure enough, nice way to start it. That's <laughs> definitely a keeper. Chunky spot, man. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, top water. That's awesome. Nice, right in. nice little spot right there. They want to chase. You know, it's the time of the year where they're starting to think about, you know, the winter time and water temperatures cooling down and and uh, so they're wanting to put the feed bag on. We'll catch one of them spotted bass here in a minute that looks just like me. Short and round. Ooh. Oh. Molly. Oh, Smally. Nice. <laughs> Live target. Oh, oh look, look at the shed. Spitting up, spitting up <laughs> shed everywhere, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there he is. I got him. That one's big enough. That one's big enough. For... That one's got to be 12 inches. 15, baby. There you go. 15. That's the great thing about Table Rock Lake. You've got great spotted bass fishery. It's a great smallmouth fishery. And of course, largemouth. Awesome. First blood, Dion. What you got? How you like me now? 
The right propeller will increase fuel economy, top end speed, and even engine life. There's an Evinrude engineered propeller for every application. To learn more, check out an Evinrude dealer near you. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook, Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time, and by Evinrude, introducing the all new Evinrude E Tech G2. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Okuma Fishing Tackle. There's no stopping Okuma. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And by Live Target Lifelike Lures. One of the things I love about this Branson area is it has so many things, not only for the outdoorsmen, but just for people that want to enjoy some great shows, a great time, good food. There's tons of good shopping here. Matter of fact, they even have one of the world's best amusement parks right here in Branson. In the fall, you've got to deal with different weather conditions. It's cloudy, it's overcast, a little foggy, the wind's blowing, and we've got to make the right decisions to catch those quality fish. Do we go top water, do we go spinnerbait, or do we go straight in the docks? Right underneath their nose. Got him. Oh, nice. Nice one, huh? Yeah. Dang. Sweet. Oh my gosh, dude, you got a big one. Nice one. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Big spot. Yeah. <laughs> How you like it, Dion? We got three good fish in the boat. Things are starting to roll. Better look out, guys. Awesome job. <laughs> they were like right off the bat, we pull in the first spot, and that's what you want to do. In the fall, you want to get out here, you want to look for bait activity, you want to find some schooling fish and take advantage of that fall feed, and that's what's going on. There's bait in this little pocket, wind's pushing it in here, and they're on fire. There he is. Little guy. We've got a couple of fish in the boat. Being this early and in the fog, as soon as that sun starts popping out, Scott and Tom do not have any idea what's fixing to happen to them. That's kind of a little Ozark secret there, what he's got tied on there. You just take a shad colored Senko, cut it off into that small portion like that, take and put a little blade on the tail of it on a swivel and put it on a jig head. When you get one to chase it like what we're having here happening a little bit and bump it, you can drop it right down and he'll club it on the way to the bottom. The way these things are coming up and just kind of pushing my spinnerbait around, they're not really aggressive enough to eat it. That little thing there, you can wind it along about the same pace and keep it up there where they want to be. And then if one clubs it, you can just drop it right back to him. And that little old tail, little blade just swims down into them. And most time they can't resist that. Oh, oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> he came over it. Oh. He came over that twice <laughs> and got it. That's a smallmouth move, but that was a spot. I don't think he's gonna quite make it. That was cool. And again, we saw that fish. I said right there, cast fish are 40 feet out. Boom, get sure a bite. Enough. It's crazy, the Pam optics, you know, they're schooling and he normally takes schoolers and you just cast in any direction, so you just kind of blind cast. Yeah. It really doesn't matter where you cast. This shows it does matter where you cast. Oh yeah. I mean, you, they're specifically there, you point to them. That's three casts in a row where we saw them, he fell right to it. It, it cuts the guesswork now. And again, it allows you to learn. Like if these fish leave, let's just say they all take off and they all form over the other cove. You know, if you didn't have panoptics, you don't know. You're just sitting there casting around. You don't really know what's going on. But with this, you're like, no, they're still here. They're actually right over there. Now they've moved over here. You know, it allows you to stay on what I call the high percentage strike zone the entire day. Oh my gosh. It's like a squadron of fighter jets under the boat. Yeah. There's oh. fish. There's a little one. Little one. Oh, there's a few of them. We'll throw it in there. There's like a couple with him. There he is. Back up. Yeah. Back up. Except I got the little one. <laughs> oh. Large mouth. Large mouth and a small mouth. Ugh. Closed captioning for the SMC is provided by Engel Coolers, the original high performance cooler company. Rugged, durable, high-performance marine coolers and AC-DC Overland fridge freezers. Check us out at your local retailer. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Startron, 
StarTron enzyme fuel treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. And by P-Line, delivering the leading edge of quality high performance fishing line. You know, not all hooks are created the same. You know, I've been fishing the Trocar brand of hooks for about five years now. I've won Forest Wood Cups, Top 10s, Tournaments, and this year won the coveted FLW Angler of the Year, and it's all because of these hooks. Let me tell you why these hooks are so awesome. Number one, they're American made, and that's very important in my book. But number two is the hook point, the most important part of the hook. Trocar hooks have a three-sided cutting edge point, which helps penetrate that hook into that fish's mouth so much easier. You know, here in this little box, I have some of my favorite ones, and brand new right now is this replacement frog hook. And some companies like Live Target is actually using this hook in their bluegill, which is really great. They have also some Skeet Reese designed hooks right here. Nice little monster flip hook, monster worm hook. They have some swim bait hooks that are awesome that I have here in this box, but brand new. You hear me talk about the TK-130 for years, talking about being my favorite flipping hook. Well, I have a brand new favorite flipping hook, guys. The TK-135. This baby is bad to the bone. So if you want more information and you want to catch more fish, be sure to stop in your local tackle shop and pick up a pack of troll cars. We'll see you guys. You know, Tom and I, we've stayed all over the country, fished lots of different lakes and stayed in lots of different accommodations. Oh, yeah. But the accommodations here at Big Cedar Lodge, I'm telling you what, guys, Johnny Morris and the Bass Pro Shops group at Big Cedar Lodge have done such an amazing job. You know, here behind me, you have Table Rock Lake, awesome bass lake. Bull Shoals, home of Ranger Boats, awesome fishery as well. And then even Taney Como Lake is a great fishery. So many great things to do here. And the neat thing is the White River connects all of them. And hey, that's some of the best trout fishing in the entire world. That's unbelievable up here. I just know we're gonna have to catch them, dude. Cause you know, the, I mean, the Hibdens, this is, <laughs> I mean, they, they get out of bed, they know what to do. Yeah. Like we're out here like trying to figure it out. Yep. Yeah. Good. That one bit right there, come up. Get a hold of that. Ooh, look there, mean mouth. That's the crossbreed we were talking about earlier. That's a that's a spotted bass, smallmouth mix. We got there on this bluffy shoreline and had some isolated cedars in it. And as soon as we got there, boom, we caught a nice one. And that kind of put us on right track on what to be doing, you know, to put a put this challenge to bed. This is a lot like smallmouth fishing up north. You can't wind that thing fast enough that you can get it away from him. When he wants it, he's gonna get it. Oh, oh that was a big one, dude. That was a giant. Oh my goodness. What is up? That was a monster, Tom. I'm just rolling. I'm not kidding you, dude, a big one. Like a six pounder. You know, right off the bat, we started throwing top board. I was still on the live target walking bait. And that thing was really, really key on catching a couple nice fish right off the bat. We make a little adjustment, wind's blowing, we pull in on a nice little bank with some cedar trees, and right off the bat, a big old fish comes up and pushes my spinnerbait that doesn't eat it. Come back and hit that one. <laughs> yeah, we gotta fish that, we gotta remember that. Let me mark a waypoint here. Oh, there he is. There's another good one. There's a good one. There you go. There's a good one. Yeah! There we go. Woo! <laughs> That's, a, That's a fat little that bird is a spot, right there. man. That's a fat little guy. <laughs> nice. Dude, that one on that one, I'm telling you, that was a six pound bass. Table Rock special on that tree. We gotta mark that. Hit waypoint. We gotta come back and fish that tree. Dude, that was awesome. The sun's come out. We're gonna make a little adjustment, go up the lake and uh, throw a spinner bait, top water a little bit, and uh, hopefully get them fired up. Spot. Yep. Believe he is. Could be number four. Baden got one on a big deep running crankbait. I immediately threw it out there with the top water. We had on a double. And we got him going from top to bottom at this point. Oh, got him. We got him. All by himself. Uh oh, there he is. Oh, dude, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, how are we gonna get him over? Almost, got him. Oh, he's in the other hole. He won't fit through the hole. We got him, dude, we got him. 12 pound P-line. 
and it held up through all that, dude. That's crazy. If that's not a reason to buy P-Line, I don't know what is. It's not even that frayed, no. that's the crazy part. No, it's, it's not. It's got burns, but it's not bad. <laughs> they call our Lake Lake of the Docks, and it is. If you're gonna catch them, that's where you gotta be, because them old big ones hide up around them. Probably one of them little ones like Scott's catching. Uh-oh. Get him, get him. Good one? No. Well, if you catch something other than them largemouth, we might weigh some in. Uh-oh. Here we go again. <laughs> the flying fish. <laughs> we got him! That's a P-Line special. The flying lure. Not a keeper. Yeah, loser has to take the trampoline jump into the lake. Yeah, there you go. Make sense Except Dion, it wouldn't launch him. Dion would stand on it, just be on the ground the whole time. It wouldn't move. Scott and Tom, it's time to go honey badger. For all your boat cleaning needs, be sure to stop by your local Bass Pro Shops, where they've got the widest selection of Starbright line of cleaners, great for any type of boat. Like the new Ultimate Metal Flake Polish with PTEF, be sure to visit them online or stop by your local Bass Pro. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by DEC. In-vehicle storage systems keep your tackle and gear dry, secure, and organized. Tightlines UV, bite on sight. The Scott Martin Challenge is also brought to you by these valued partners. Do you want more from the Scott Martin Challenge and have a chance to win some cool prizes or even a free fishing trip? Be sure to jump over to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. And be sure to also check out the Scott Martin Challenge on YouTube. One of the things I love about fishing here in the Ozarks is you can catch all three species of bass here on these lakes. Spotted bass, largemouth bass, and even smallmouth. Yeah, and there's only a few lakes in the country literally with the chance to catch a five pounder of any species on any given day. You know, the cool thing about doing these challenges like this is me and old Scotty's growing up the same situation, really. You know, his dad being top of the food chain for a long time and your grandpa the same way. I mean, we just kind of got a, we got kind of a connection there that not many people understand, you know. And I'm sure Scotty's boy is going to come along and probably be just as good as he is. And it's kind of cool, you know. Our dads were gods in their day, you know. It's kind of like your dad is right now. <laughs> oh, look at that. Someone Ooh. falling right up there even. Look at him, he's still looking for it. He's right under the boat, dude. You watch this. <laughs> Double trouble. Oh, he had it. these Looky spots there. on him. Look at this speckle one. I think our fishing's right on track right now. I'd love to smash Tom and Scott today. Kind of cute. Okay, give my bait back. Hurry up. Oh, there we go. Good one. Good one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice one, dude. <laughs> there we go. Chunk it. Oh, yes! <laughs> Ooh, that's what we needed, dude. Dude, that's what I'm talking about, Tom. Way to get one. Yeah! Bam. Nice! <laughs> That's what you call fourth quarter, baby. <laughs> oh, I got him, dude. Got him right at the boat. <laughs> Panoptics bass. Just a little guy. Look, now there's nine. <laughs> there was ten before, now there's nine. Get him. Get him. Uh, that'll be cool. Get back. Danger zone right here. Uh-oh, he's got it. I can't tell. Good? He's splashing around good. Oh my gosh, yes, it was a good one, dude. He jumped off. We're down to the wire. Scott's got the pattern dialed in. He pitches behind the dock. He knows we're gonna get one. Totally ready for it, and he loses it. I mean, come on, man. Really? I'm sorry, dude. <sighs> That's what we needed right there. <laughs> that was a three-pounder. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can hear the splashing back there. 
hey, it's bad enough to lose on national TV to these guys, but if we lose, we're going to hear about it all year on the FLW Tour. Some more. See those up there at 40 feet? Mm -hmm. We're catching a lot of things, top water, spinner baits, jigs, dock fish. It's getting down to the wire. We've got to make something happen. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Monster. Panoptics fish. Uh, there's a panoptics bass right there. It's crazy. Check that out, guys. That's a nice one there. All right, dude, that is officially it. We've got to get this puppy back. I don't know if it's enough, man. I mean, we caught some nice fish today. We just lacked that big one. You know, we had that big one come out of the tree. Lost another one on the dock. You can't miss him versus Dion. No. Let's, do, let's get back to the ramp. See who's going to win this puppy. All right. All right, guys, i tell you what, it was a five fish challenge. It was a lot of fun. You betcha. Oh, man. I, I, this lake impresses me every time we've been here because you can catch them so many different ways, you know. And, it, and being here in the fall, top water, cranking, flipping docks, you name it, you can catch them. Yeah, we caught them, we caught them three or four different ways today. I mean, it was a hoot. We caught a lot of fish. I mean, caught a lot of keepers and stuff, and it was fun. And like I say, weigh them up, see what we Weigh them up. All right, here you go, boys. Over the years, I've fished against a lot of great challengers, and they've been some epic battles out there. But the chance to beat the Hibdens here in the Ozarks, I mean, hey, that's going to be a feather in our cap. Yeah, it's like going into Yankee Stadium and picking a fight with Babe Ruth on his home ground. It's tough territory. But All right, let's see what they weigh. Jump up here, Peyton. boys. 10 oh, 10 oh 08. 10 oh 08. Sweet. 10 oh 08. That's not bad. That's, that's about what I thought we had. Hopefully we've got enough to squeak out the victory on this one, man. It's going to be close. All right. My golly, Jump up here, Tom. A, let's see what they weigh. It's going to be a toss up right there, boys. Yeah, it's a horse race. Close. Real close. Oh. 11. 1125. 1125. <laughs> Woo! That's a pretty oh, sweet. Oh man, I'll tell you what. To fish against you guys here, the Ozark boys, I'll tell you what, it was an honor, man. You it was an honor. Hey, yeah, awesome, awesome deal, man. Good job. Enjoy it, Paige. And hopefully you guys at home learned a few things. I mean, pay attention to what these guys are doing. Hopefully you paid attention to what we're doing. Showed you lots of different ways to catch fish on Table Rock Lake here in Branson, Missouri. Awesome. So tune in next week. We're on a new lake. Some new challengers. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge, guys. We'll see you. All right.